Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to use yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 2 and the crochet hook that I'm using is in size 4.25 millimeters. But I'm doing this intentionally because I want my finished product to be soft. Softer than it would have been if I used the uh, smaller crochet hook. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, on the last chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. So now that I've formed this small circle, 401, I will chain 3. And then right there through that small loop, I'll make 3 double crochet. So here you can see I have three double crochets plus this three chain in the beginning. So that kind of looks like four double crochets. Now I'll chain two. Then through the same loop I'll make four double crochet. Chain two again. Then right there through the same loop I'll make four double crochet. chain two, then through that same loop I'll make four double crochet. Chain two. Now to finish off this first row, right there through that third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row one. So now for row two, in these next three chains, I'll make a slip stitch. I need to reach this two chain space. So right there through the two chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. And now I will chain three. Now right there through the same loop, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain two, then through the same loop I'll make four double crochet. Now I'll chain one, then through his next two chain loop I'll make four double crochet. Again, I'll chain two, then through the same loop I'll make four double crochet. See, we're trying to form a square now. Again, I'll chain one, then through his next two chain loop I'll make four double crochet. I'll chain two, then through the same loop I'll make four double crochet. Chain one. In the next two chain loop I'll make four double crochet. chain two, then right there through that same two chain loop I'll make four double crochet. Now to finish off row two I'll chain one, 
Then right there through the third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. So now for row three, in these next three chains, I'll make a slip stitch because we need to reach this first corner where we have this two chain loop. Now through this two chain loop, I'll make one slip stitch. Then I'll chain three. Now right there through that same two chain loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain two. Then through that same loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain one, then right there to this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Again, I'll chain one, then through this next two chain loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain two. Then through that same loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain one. Then through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain one. Then through this next two chain loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain two, then through the same loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain one. Then through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain one. In the next two chain loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain two. Then through that same loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain one, then through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain one. Then to finish the third row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row three. So now for row four, again, I will make a slip stitch in the next three chains. Then through this next two chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. I will chain three. Then through that same loop, I'll make three double crochet. Chain two. Then through that same loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain one, then right here through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. In the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. In the 
In the next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. here in between these corners we'll be increasing. So you see in the previous row we had two double crochets with one chain in between and for this row we have six double crochets with one with one chain on each side. So now I'll chain one and in the next two chain loop I'll make four double crochet. Chain, chain two. In that same loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain two. Then through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. In the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. In the next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain two. In the next two chain loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain two. And through that same loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain two, then through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. In the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. In the next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain one. In the next two chain loop, I'll make four double crochet. Two, then through that same loop, I'll make four double crochet. Chain one. Now, through this next one chain loop, I'll make two double crochet. In the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. Next one chain space, I'll make two double crochet. And now to finish off row four, I will chain one, then right there to that third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Repeat row four for the pattern until your work reaches your desired length. So we repeat this until our work measures 31 inches. And then we'll fold our work in half, just like that. Now that we have folded our work in half, we'll leave a loop for armholes, so we measure 9 inches. So now I'm going to join these two sides together until we reach the stitch marker. This loop right here is going to be, stay there for the armholes. I'm going to use a crochet hook to join these two sides. But you can also use your needle. So right here through this two chain loop, through this first two corners, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through the slip knot loop. I'll chain one, then through the same chain I'll make one single crochet. Through his next two double crochet chains, I'll make one single crochet. Through the next two double crochet chains, I'll make one single crochet. And I'm joining these two sides together from the wrong side. Through the next two double crochet chains, I'll make one single crochet. 
to the next two double crochet chains I'll make one single crochet now through these next two chains, ready to a two chain loop, I'll make two single crochet through these next two double crochet chains I'll make one single crochet Repeat this until you reach the first stitch marker. Now right there through that uh, stitch marker chain through both sides I'll make a slip stitch I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn and now I'll repeat the same thing for the other side now right here through this uh, first double crochet chain I insert my hook then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop I'll chain three then through that same chain I'll make three double crochet so one two and three now I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one single crochet again I will chain three then through that same chain I'll make three double crochet I'll skip the next two chains and through this third double crochet chain I'll make one single crochet chain three through that same chain I'll make three double crochet I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one single crochet chain three through that same chain I'll make three double crochet skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one single crochet chain three through that same chain I'll make three double crochet I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one single crochet chain three through the same chain I'll make three double crochet I'll skip the next two chains and through this third chain I'll make one single crochet so I'll repeat this until I reach the beginning of this row now that we are at the beginning of this row I will chain three then right there to the same loop I'll make three double crochet now right here through this next loop where I made the first three chain in the beginning of the row I'll make a slip stitch So now I'll just weave these ends in and we'll be done. This is all for today guys. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.